Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 21. We're back a bit early today uh, because we got through the FA Cup and uh, as you can see we're playing Oxford City today. Uh, we play in the Vanarama National League South four tiers above us and it's a home game. So I uh, thought we'd do a, a double header today. Um, as I mentioned in the last episode we're gonna play Ooh, who was it? Uh, yeah, Abington Town. Uh, but uh, since then we've uh, gone through all the cups. So uh, today we're playing Oxford City in the FA Cup second qualifying round. Uh, we'll do a double header. So also we do a league uh, match against uh, AFC Aldermaston. Um, since you were last w with me, um, the squad has um, stayed mainly the same. Uh, Fortunately, Sinfield is back, and so is Joshua Eid, but he, he's not um, fully fit yet. Uh, Kieran Michaels had a uh, week or two of injuries as well, uh, so Aaron Stringfellow has been playing in his position. He's been doing okay. Um, last episode we played Langley, 1-4-2. Uh, um, yeah, we've been playing really well. Uh, our... Offense is just uh, lethal, and uh, we um, it's tightened up in the back as well. We beat uh, Hackney Week away, 4-1 win. Uh, Kyle Johnson uh, with a goal, Manny Brown with a pen and a goal, and Stephen Orchard with a single goal, his first goal of the season, I, I think. Uh, yeah, and in the FA Cup, we first qualifying round, we played Sheffield away. Uh, and uh, yeah, we won 2-0. Two, two Sinfield scored his first game back from injury. Uh, and Manny Brown. Manny Brown has been amazing. He, he He's supposed to be the uh, backup to the uh, then injured Joshua Eid. Uh, but he's been scoring. And um, he also have a lot of assists, I think. Yeah, eight games, uh, six goals, five assists. He's been playing really well. Um, so I'll probably start him from now on. Um, yeah, uh, and our first draw of the season versus Abington United in the, the league. Edward Pelvin with the goal. Uh, and lastly, we played Hereford Pegasus in the Hellenic Cup first round. Beat them comfortably 3-1. Calvin Morgan back on the scoring sheet and Heider Pelvin as well. Uh, we did manage to clip to keep the clean sheet though, uh, Pedro Luis Sanchez scored with a screamer uh, in the 93rd minute. Anyway, today is uh, FA Cup day. Um, this is the team we're going with today. Uh, Vias in goal as always, Stringfellow, Mambo, Brown and Orchard. Digi in the defensive midfield position. Uh, which I by the way have been experimenting with. Uh, we've been playing a deep line playmaker for most of the year but uh, I've been trying Anchorman for a few um, matches and it, it has worked well. Uh, actually, this is a typical match which we should be a bit more defensive, so uh, I'll go with the Anchorman today. Uh, further up, we got Malpas and Sinfield, uh, Pelvin at the right, Br uh, Manny Brown at the left, and um, Calvin Morgan up front as always. Okay, let's get into the match. We're playing at home today in our um, standard blue kits. Long ball out from Dudzinski. Mambo picks it down. Long ball forward from Digi. No, it doesn't connect. Um, yep. Morgan is clean through. And it's a penalty. Oh, that looked like a cheap penalty. I don't know if that was a penalty, to be honest, but um, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's home against a um, side four tiers above us. And Stringfellow takes the penalty. That's a surprise. Uh, his for first goal of the season. Great stuff. We're 1 0 up after six and a half minutes. So far, it's a pretty boring game. 
we will add one highlight. Ah, it's a, it's a free kick. Orchard is taking it. Oh, that's a good free kick, but an even better save. Out for a corner. Or, um, or Orchard seems to be our uh, head piece taker for uh, almost everything. Uh, corners, free kicks. Yeah. He's doing a good job at it too. He has a couple of assists from set pieces. Oh well, that was a really exciting highlight, I guess. Uh, okay, we're back. String fellow, long ball up to Morgan. Infield, Malpas, Eleven. We'll go for the shot. Oh, that's a cracker of a shot. Hader Pelowan with his sixth goal of the season. And, and we're 2 nil up in the FA Cup against Oxford City. This is just great. Um, this uh, uh, tactic has been, has been working very well. Um, we were meaning to play this without a uh, positive or attacking mentality uh, and a very very high press but uh, it seems to work well um, with a uh, cautious and uh, a defensive mentality as well uh, th there's been a few matches where I've been uh, forced to um, defend a bit deeper so I'll uh, so I, I just um, I put the line of engagement and the defensive line one slot lower each and uh, it has worked well I won't do this for this match though, because we're 2 0 up. We're 3 0 up. It's Hader Pelvin again, and I didn't see the sh shot. Okay, let's see. Morgan, Hinfield, Malpas, Pelvin, Morgan, back to Pelvin. Another cracker of a shot. Yeah, Pelvin seems amazing to just be 17 or 18 years old. Uh, He's been playing great at that uh, right inside forward position. And it's Pelevan again. Out to Malpus. <laughs> Jay Malpus with a cracker from way outside the area. His third goal of the season. And it's 4 0 in the FA Cup round in the first half against Oxford City. This is amazing. I do, I do notice that uh, Sinfield is uh, very tired, so we'll put him off. Um, off the pitch, we have uh, Danny Walters uh, on the bench. We are 4 0 up, so uh, we can experiment a bit in uh, this match. I'll also go uh, for Joshua Eid for Manny Brown, just to get his match fitness up. Uh, yeah, this tactic seems to work, work very well. Uh, both against uh, weaker opponents and um, stronger teams. Orchard with the free kick. It's the crossbar. Pelevin, again. Yeah, this uh, second half wasn't that entertaining. Let's do the uh, last sub uh, just to rest some players. Digi can rest. Harvey, the old guy. Come on and do a job. Eighty-five minutes. Still no highlights in the second half. Just, just a free kick. Well, that'll do for us. Four nil up against Oxford City in the FA Cup. We're creating a lot of chances and a lot of good chances too. Um, this tactic seems to be fitting us well. And uh, as, it, as it is the FA Cup, we should have a pretty good attendance too, just to uh, catch, catch in some attendance money. Let me see. Oh, and we get 3.3k for a small club like this. That is. Actually, pretty good. Uh, 
Ah, Pelvin played impeccable again. Yeah, he's, he's still just 17 year, year old and he doesn't seem that good, but he plays really well. Uh, four apps, three goals in, in the league, seven goals and three assists uh, in all um, competitions. This is just get great. Uh, what was our attendance? Yeah, 1,000 people in the stands. That's amazing. Uh, we're up to 37,000 pounds now, uh, which is great for a club at this level. Okay, I'll skip ahead to the, the next game. Let's play the home game against Aldermaston in the league. Be right back. But before we go into the game, uh, the FA Cup third qualifying round draw is today. Let's uh, let's do this draw together because there's a couple of good teams here. Uh, it's many teams from the Valorama uh, conference leagues here. As long as we get a home tie, I'm pretty satisfied with whatever. Let's just, um, yeah, let's just do the uh, draw next team. And there we are. Away against Works Up Town. They do play in the Northern Premier League Division 1 Southeast. Uh, that's only tier 8, right? So, uh, in theory, this game should be easier than uh, the last game against Oxford. Well, we're right back. Let's get into the league game. And we're back. Uh, it's Wednesday today, and we're playing uh, home against AFC Aldermaston. Um, Looking at the squad, we do have two guys uh, out on um, international appearances. Uh, apparently, Heydr Pelvin is uh, in the Turkish under-17 team. Uh, or is, no, he is in the under-19 squad. Uh, yeah, and he just played a, um, played a game against uh, Montenegro, I think. Played really well, too. Uh, unfortunately, that keeps him out of the team today. Um, Say with uh, Calvin Morgan, who's on international duty with Anguilla. Um, yeah, let's go to the team selection. So, Kevin Morgan. Uh, Carl Johnson has been playing really well when uh, Morgan has been out. So, um, he'll slot in a central striker position. Helwin, we need to put Manny Brown on the right side for now. And uh, Joshua Eid back in the, on the left side. Let me see. Yes, and uh, as you maybe have spotted already, we have a new player in the squad. Um, this is Sam Salis, uh, I'm central midfielder. Fielder. He's really good and he's quite quick too. Um, he's a pretty good all-round player for the midfield. Uh, he will play uh, together with uh, Sinfield and Malpas in uh, central midfield. Uh, we only had uh, Danny Walt Walters as the backup, so uh, we needed someone else uh, to... Uh, Fill out the central midfield for some quality. Uh, for now, I'll uh, put Sinfield back at right field uh, just until Michaels is back, and then uh, put a the new guy, Salis, in at the Carrillero. Uh, yeah, like that, Carrillero position. Is Salis left footed? No, he's right footed. Um, yeah, Mapas as well. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's get into the game. Ah, uh, I forgot to change the tactic, uh, the mentality to pass to. We can afford to go a bit more attacking this game. Eighteen minutes in. Long goal from Orchard. Uh, Sinfield picks it up. Digi with a long ball out to... They're defenders, apparently. Infield again. We do play a lot of long balls, but uh, that doesn't seem to work all the time. Uh, I need to have a, a look at that. Um, maybe try to play some shorter passing plays. Uh, we, we do play quite uh, sh um, short passes, but uh, maybe it's the uh, position, position Sinfield plays in. Yeah, I'll check that out after this match. 
uh, pretty damn boring game so far. Uh, fortunately, um, Boulder Masson haven't had any shots yet, but uh, we've just had one highlight in the first half. Well, that was an entertaining half, wasn't it? Okay, let's just hear. Um, who did I? Yeah, Sinfield. But Sinfield is in the right back position. Uh, he's, he's on shorter passing. I don't know why he tries those long balls so often. But um, yeah, I'll see to that later. Anyway, um, I'll change out the strike. No, let's just continue into the second half. Um, I'm going to demand a bit more from my players. Okay, 54 minutes. Can we get a um, scoring chance? Nice block from Sinfield. Brown, long pass to Johnson. Ah, almost through. Back to Brown again. Can he cross it? Ah, that's a poor shot from Brown. Sixty minutes gone, still nil nil. A new chance though. Uh, Sinfield out on the right, long ball over the top. Otto Brown hits alone with the keeper, and Brown scores. Manny Brown. Finally, the long ball from Sinfield worked. Uh, that's a great shot though. His seventh goal of the season. I think. I think I want to do some changes anyway. Uh, Mathis is a bit tired. Actually, Stringfellow, you can come in and I'll change you up with Sinfield. Sinfield, get back in midfield. Also, Scamble. Uh, I've promised him some more game time, so uh, I'll rest Mambo for the rest of the game. Uh, I haven't played Sc Scamble as much uh, because it's too slow, really. But uh, he has a lot of good technicals and... Um, yeah, he's a good all-around player, but uh, just a bit slow. Okay, let's see. 70 minutes, still 1-0. Um, I would like to say it's a comfortable 1-0, but um, yeah. Let's just keep this clean sheet and we'll be fine. And they're down to 10 men. Prender Wills is on, already on a yellow card. That should be it for this game. Oh, almost. Hit the post, actually. Okay, let's just uh, sub off Joshua Eid. He's a bit tired. And um, uh, Thomas has also complained about um, lack of first team football. So uh, let's just uh, sub him on. Oh, long ball out to Johnson. Oh, he's, it sneaks past the keeper. He uh, shoots it under the keeper. And Scammell, the uh, substitute uh, defender with the assist. Ah, that's a great assist. It just lurks it past the keeper. Great. Okay, 83 minutes into the match. Can we score another goal? Powell, Burr, Thomas. Vias picks it up easily. That's a hoof and a half out to Thomas. Uh, <laughs> it's a poor shot from Thomas, though. Okay, let's just close out this game. 91 minutes in. Can we get uh, a third goal? Oh, that, that's a fluky goal, if you ever saw one. one. Sinfield with the goal, from outside the area. It did look like a cross, but... Uh, let me see. Uh, all the other keeper uh, went the other way. That's really strange. Okay, we're 3-0 up. I'm not complaining about that. Ninety-two minutes. Okay, let's just close this match up. 
out. <clears throat> That's a good bow to McPherson, though. To McPherson, maybe. VS picks it up easily, though. Long ball out to Johnson. Oh, that's a good ball to Brown. <laughs> but he picks it up. That's a terrible touch. Okay. And it's an another highlight to the finish of the game. Thomas out to Stringfellow. Can he cross it? And it's a corner. I guess Orchard will take the corner. Yep. Um, good, good. It's a good ball in, uh, but it uh, clears everyone. That should be it. Uh, 94 minutes in. Into overtime. Jacket. Yeah. And that's it. A very comfortable win at the, uh, in the end. Uh, no, 4 nil. no, sorry, it's not 4 nil. it's 3 nil. Anyway, it's very comfortable. 17 shots to 2, I think I saw. Um, and we're uh, second in the lead, lead league with uh, one game in hand. Uh, I mean, um, yeah, let's just go to the next screen and uh, look at uh, the league table. Abington Town, though, they seem... Like the team to beat in this league, uh, at least uh, this year. They've won uh, all six games. We haven't played them yet, but uh, we're playing them. Um... Yeah, we're playing them in December. I want to keep this first uh, few episodes a bit short. Um, I'm going to play only one game per episode mainly, unless there's a good uh, FA Cup tie or something. So for the next episode, I will be playing the, um, I think this third qualifying round in the FA Cup will be pretty easy uh, because they're on only a tier or two above us. Uh, and I think we're playing pretty good now. Uh, I'll skip to, ahead to December and play, if there's a FA Cup game in uh, December, I'll play that. Uh, but uh, otherwise, I'll play Abington Town because they're top of the league for now. Uh, and I'm, I think we're playing really good now. Sinful with the man of the match performance. Yeah. Give him some praise. Um, so, that's it for today. Um, yeah, we're uh, skipping ahead to December. And um, we'd like to keep this good form up. We'd, we've only drawn uh, one game this season and haven't uh, lost a single game yet. Um, so let's keep that winning streak up. And that's it for this episode. If you like it, please click subscribe and click the like button. I would really much appreciate that. Yeah, until next time, bye bye. <laughs>